boiling point is nothing but the temperature at which the vapor pressure of liquid is equal to atmospheric vapor pressure that temperature is called as the boiling point so we are going to check today the boiling point of our liquid we know that boiling of liquid if we have to find out then we know that if we transfer gas in the liquid then bubbles are formed mm. we can see the bubbles so that phenomena we are using to see the boiling point right so see what today we will do this is the your sodium fusion tube this is called as sodium fusion tube you can also say that this is a boiling point tube boiling point tube because liquid is going to boil here yes. okay this is the capillary yes. same way we will uh, block the one end of this capillary okay so let's start the gas start the gas now yes few drops of liquid in the boiling point tube or sodium fusion tube okay few drops liye hum na pura bhar ke nahi lena don't completely fill it just few drops then this capillary the open end of capillary remember that yeah open, open end, end of capillary you have to dip inside this compound liquid compound correct in the end the closed end of the capillary should be like this so you can put the insert the seal capillary inside the liquid inverted capillary you can sell so in what it gets okay now tight it with your thermometer a single aadmi kar raha hu you have to do it okay so you can observe Again, similarly, जैसे हम वी आर गोइंग टू एडजस्ट द लेवल मर्क्यूरी को हम क्या करते हैं थोड़ा सा ऊपर लेते हैं कंपाउंड को नीचे टाइट करते हैं जिस तरह हमें ओके एडजस्ट द लेवल ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ट्यूब एंड मर्क्यूरी लाइक दिस सो इजिली विजिबल टू सी दॉइलिंग पॉइंट वॉट एपन हियर वेन द लिक्विड इज गोइंग टू हिट the compound is present in the capillary right it is also going to heat yes. now what happen when the boiling start how you will understand the compound inside the capillary when boil it form the vapor mm. and very small area inside this capillary very small area so vapors will not remove from this capillary so what will they do vapors will come out from bottom of this capillary the open end of capillary is here yes. and from that open end of capillary the vapor of the compound is going to try to remove because the one end is closed uh-huh. understand so when the vapors of this compound is start to remove from the bottom of this capillary then they will be removed like bubbles air bubbles gas yes, na they will be like air bubbles so you can see the continuous bubbles from the bottom continuous bubble then you can see that that is a boiling point because you cannot see the boiling point of this outside liquid you are going to see the bubbles remove aise nahi ki hum jaise water boil karte milta hai aise nahi dekhna hum we have to see just the bubbles remove out from this bottom of the capillary got it So let's see. Then what to do? Uh, check the measurement. Is it okay or not? Is it okay? Yes. 
Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is your tile strip filled with the paraffin liquid. Okay. And this paraffin liquid having high boiling point. So we are using here paraffin. The paraffin, the role of paraffin is what? To transfer the heat. Constant heat. You can see. The role of capillary is, uh, role of this paraffin oil is to transfer the constant heat to our compounds to whom we are going to boil. That is the role of this liquid paraffin. So let's see uh, the measurement is right. Now we are inserting this cap our boiling point tube thermometer and always remember that uh, you are Boiling point should not be deep inside this, completely deep inside the paraffin. Otherwise, you will not never get the boiling point. Do you understand? Yes. Sir. This boiling point tube should not be completely deep hmm. inside this paraffin. Yes. Otherwise, the paraffin enter in your compound. Huh. You will never get the boiling point. Yes. So take care about that. Is it completely deep? No. Close the door. No. Okay. Yes. This is up. Now you can easily see the compound as well as your uh, thermometer. And uh, see the first, what is the temperature of the thermometer inside it? Thermometer is like temperature Around uh, 25 yes. degrees Celsius. Uh, 25, 26 degrees Celsius say around. So, okay, now start to hit the arm of this tile tube. Like this. Always hit, give the slow hit, okay? Or you can see the hitting should be constant and you only hit this arm not this end why because if you directly hit here then the compound will be melt easily and fastly and temperature will rise also fastly so you cannot detect the temperature right temperature at which the compound is going to boil so remember that hit this and check the temperature also constant heat and check the temperature at which the liquid is going to boil Temperature should be, must be, slowly rises inside the thermometer. If the temperature is rising fastly, stop the heating. Understand? Now what is the temperature? First check out the temperature after heating. I think it is around 60 degrees Celsius. Yes, sir. Am I right? Yes, sir. Karan? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Celsius temperature. Temperature must be slowly rise. Understand? If it is fastly rising, then it is very difficult to uh, find a perfect boiling point. Now it is up to 70 degrees Celsius. Always remember that. Observe the temperature and the bottom of this compound. Understand? So, I think the temperature is around 70 degrees Celsius. See, continuous bubbling should be there. Now just one bubble remove. Yes, sir. bubble nikla na? Continuous bubbling should be there. Then you, now see the temperature. What is the temperature? Temperature. Uh, it is around 100 and 2 or 4 degrees Celsius. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4 degrees 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. Celsius because one line for 2 degrees Celsius here. See one bubble removed. Now. So see that. When the continuous bubbles are there in your boiling point tube, then we can say that liquid get boiled and you can observe the temperature. temperature. Yeah. Ah, okay. So yeah, this is the boiling point of our liquid. And so Sail, what is the boiling point of liquid? Sir, 184 is. 184 degrees. 184 degrees Celsius. Oh, very good. Why these bubbles are moving? Because when you are hitting this liquid, okay, you know the evaporation process. 
due to the evaporation what happen the compound get slightly evaporate inside the capillary it is in capillary na yes. of course capillary is closed or sealed capillary is there so the vapors when saturated inside the capillary vapors when saturated due to the evaporation vapors are going to saturated inside this capillary right in this capillary the liquid how liquid rises here so due to the small volume of very small volume of capillary vapors when saturated then that vapors are trying to find a way to remove so they are coming out from bottom so initially what happen some one bubble sometime two bubble are going to remove that bubbles are nothing but the evaporation of that liquid but when the continuous bubbling are there means what liquid is going to continuously heat a uh, boil when continuously boil the liquid then number of vapors are removing and that vapors are going to try to remove from the bottom of this capillary that's why continuous bubbling are there when continuous bubbling is there then you can say it is a sharp boiling point one bubble two bubble three bubble four bubble this is not the accurate boiling point do you understand why one bubble two bubble is due to the evaporation of liquid it is not a boiling of liquid due to the boiling of liquid understand okay carry on